Hey there, here today with Laszlo, my friend from Envision Romania, and we are going to talk about fundraising in Romania. So Laszlo, tell us uh, a little bit about Envision Romania. Um, Envision is an NGO uh, I have set up together with uh, two good friends um, five or six years ago. Uh, and our aim was uh, at that point of time, but also today, to help the um, NGO sector in Romania uh, to develop and to create opportunities for people, for Romanians to, to get involved and to uh, help uh, the community they live in. Mm. Nice, yeah. nice. So five, six years ago, this was a pretty novel concept at that time. You, you didn't, you didn't have a lot of small nonprofits fundraising as much, right? Uh, what, what did the, what did it look like at that time when you started this? Uh, well, at that time, it was a very small project because each one of us had uh, different jobs at that okay. point of time, and even today, not all of us are working um, full time within the project. Uh, so it started something very small and it grew step by step throughout the years. <laughs> okay, okay. And tell us a little bit of how, how did it get started? I mean, you, you know, you're sitting around, you're talking, where, where does the idea come from? Because uh, you guys, yeah, you're all working other places, you're doing other things. W w why? So uh, we met uh, at an NGO where uh, we were volunteers uh, at Hospice Casa Speranze and one of us was coordinating the volunteers and the, two, the other two were volunteers. Okay. So we met, we uh, became friends and at one point of time we thought that we would like to do something together in this area and this is how we thought about creating an NGO and uh, yeah, this is how it started. Nice, yeah. nice. That's cool because a lot of times when people start an NGO, it kind of they see a, a need and respond to it. But you guys took, I mean, you did the same thing, but a slightly different path in that it wasn't to like direct beneficiaries, go and yeah. feed kids or take care of elderly people. It was, we're going to start an organization that helps other organizations fundraise. Yeah, yeah. And people to get involved. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what was your first project that you guys did? Uh, so we had a project on um, on the fiscal facility 2% at that yeah. point of time. So we created a website and a video, short video to um, to convince people to redirect their 2% from okay. their income yeah. to an NGO. This was the first project. And then um, another project um, uh, started, which is the which is Galanton, the peer to peer fundraising platform which is today our biggest project. Mm. Uh, so that was the second one. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's our biggest project today. Nice, nice. Yeah. One of the things I think Alan Tom is known for in Romania is this idea of donating your birthday. Tell us, uh, yeah. tell us about that. So Galantom was created, um, so the idea was to create a platform which will help uh, people who want to get involved to raise funds for a cause or an NGO they really believe in. Nice. Yeah? So this was this was the idea. So this is why we created a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising platform where people need to uh, have a personal challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, once they have that challenge, this can be um, doing sport, running within a marathon, losing weight or... Um, uh, donating the birthday so the challenge can be uh, very diverse once they have the challenge they um, they ask uh, their friends and family and colleagues to support them in that challenge making a donation for the cause they have chosen nice. so that's uh, that's the main idea and donating your birthday is the most uh, uh, widely used uh, initiative okay. uh, on the platform. Okay, yeah. okay. So how does it work? People, they, they donate their birthday. What, what does that mean? How do they do that? Um, so uh, everybody has a birthday. Yes. So this is why it's, it's working so well. Um, so when, um, uh, when uh, people decide to donate their birthday, this means that uh, instead of the usual gifts they receive uh, within a normal year, uh, they tell uh, their friends and family and colleagues that um, instead of that gift uh, to make a donation to the cause they, they have chosen. Yeah. So it's quite, uh, it's quite simple and uh, it's very impactful and what we hear and also what we have experienced because each of us also donated their birthday 
uh, at some point of time is that it, it is really the best way to celebrate your birthday yeah. and is the most beautiful gift that you can get yeah yeah knowing you got to have impact and giving that yeah. even that gift back to your friends yeah. rather than having to go buy a gift and package yeah. it up yeah. and all that so it's actually it makes things more easier for yeah. for your friends uh, because many times they do not know what to buy for yeah, your yeah. Uh, birthday so it's very easy they just need to make a donation yeah. to use that money they that they would have spent on the gift yep. to make a donation and what is very nice is that many uh, most of the time uh, you receive uh, a gift from people that you would not expect huh. yeah okay. because yeah, yeah, the social media and uh, helps you to spread the message quite nice. easily and therefore you got you have very nice surprises every time nice nice yeah. and if i remember correctly or maybe it was a few years ago but there was even some celebrities here in romania that, that donated their birthday is that right yeah we uh, encourage uh, also public personalities and yeah. celebrities to to donate their birthday uh, because this also helps uh, helps the project to to get uh, more awareness yeah uh, and it, it works really, really well. So we had uh, several celebrities uh, donating their birthday throughout the years. Okay. Have you had any YouTubers donate their birthdays? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> we need to start a challenge yeah. to the YouTubers of Romania. Yeah. It's a challenge for you to jump on Galantom and donate your birthday to nonprofits in Romania. Yeah. Celebrate the best way possible. Encourage your audience, your fans, your subscribers to give back to Romanian NGOs. So it's a challenge for all you YouTubers out there. We're coming for you. <laughs> all right, a little, little <laughs> ad in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah? yeah. So, okay, so you guys have Galantom. That's a, really your flagship project. Yeah. But then a few years ago, you took this crazy risk and started yes. focusing on something else. Tell us about the, the, the latest project you guys have been doing. Uh, so our latest project is Giving Tuesday. Uh, which is a global day of giving, um, which comes from the U.S. Uh, first, uh, it was in 2000, back in 2012, and uh, they thought. So the the team who initiated it thought that you know you have uh, we have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, those days when we buy things from for ourselves and for our very close family members and friends. And why not have a day when we give something back and when we think about the others, not about us? So this is how Giving Tuesday um, um, got uh, um, it was created, let's say, in the States. And uh, then um, it uh, went so well uh, in the following years that it became uh, a movement not only in the states but in many other countries uh, around the world and uh, in 2019 so this year uh, Romania celebrated Giving Tuesday for the third time uh, with another 150 countries wow. so today it's a, it's a global movement okay. and uh, what we would like to do is to uh, transform it into a movement also in Romania. Great. Awesome. And I think this year you guys took a big step and seen that happen. It's grown yeah. every year. And this year it was all over on social media. Yeah, so this was the third year and we really feel that um, it uh, that we made very good progress versus last year's. And uh, this encourages us to to further uh, invest in it and to, f to further grow grow it. Uh, and we really feel uh, that it can become a real movement in Romania. Awesome, awesome. Tell me a little bit about what people do on Giving Tuesday. Uh, Giving Tuesday is about celebrating generosity. Uh, so it's about uh, making uh, gestures of generosity at any level. Mm. So from the... Uh, smallest to the largest um, it brings together uh, individuals NGOs uh, companies and institutions um, to do good for uh, people who need help including NGOs and causes uh, so this is what Giving Tuesday is uh, in, in is this is the essence of Giving Tuesday and the very nice thing about it is that 
um, there are no limitations so people can do whatever they feel like doing uh, the only uh, thing is that uh, they do uh, an act of generosity so, mm. but they can this this can be anything so they can they can make a donation uh, so they can donate money they can donate goods they can donate clothes they can donate blood they can um, give their voice to promote a cause uh, they can give their time doing uh, being volunteers um, so they can do whatever they they feel that makes sense to them um, but it needs to be an act of generosity yeah, yeah. awesome awesome one of the things i saw that was pretty encouraging is uh alba Iulia, the, the entire town yeah kind of embraced Giving yeah. Tuesday in Romania the last few years. Uh, that's just amazing to see. What is that? What do you think that does for a community when they, when as a community they come together and celebrate generosity? Yeah, Alba Iulia is, um, is a very nice example and it's very close to our hearts because uh, it, uh, they, they are a part of Giving Tuesday Romania from the very beginning, from 2017 and uh, it was uh, due to uh, some uh, persons in uh, the town hall who have uh, some background from NGO and they decided that they want to mobilize the local community to be to be part of Giving Tuesday so they managed to every year they have a local communication campaign and they are managing to bring together um, people from different areas and companies and NGOs and uh, they have um, very nice and diverse initiatives helping people who need, uh, who need support. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, going back to your question, um, it's a very good example how uh, people within the community can uh, be mobilized to, to help other people within the community and what they do is that uh, after uh, so on giving tuesday after all the initiatives have been uh, have been implemented they come together for an evening to celebrate mm -hmm. and to share uh, what happened throughout that day yes. uh, so yeah they, they are the best example of of how uh, giving tuesday can uh, mobilize communities awesome Great. So if people want to connect and learn more about this, they can get on Galantom website and also givingtuesday.ro. Is that yes. right? Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Great. Well, I think it's amazing what you guys are doing. It's an honor for Thank us you. to get to, to connect and collaborate with you guys. And I hope more people get involved and, and, and join the movement that's happening here in Romania. Mm -hmm. I think it's only going to continue to grow every year. Um, because people yeah. have a desire. To, uh, Romania is a very generous country already and hospitable. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and this is a new methodology to be generous. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I, way to go. Keep up the great work. And we're excited about what you guys are doing. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.